I am from Richmond, Virginia. I was born and raised here. Um, went to college here and studied uh, in health sciences. My sophomore year of college, I went up to Michigan to go to a music festival for a weekend. I came home and my apartment had been broken into. Um, they came in through a fire escape, broke a window, unlocked the door, and came in that way. When I got home from my long car ride home back to Virginia, I walked up my fire escape and I saw that my uh, room had or my apartment had been ransacked and um, door was left ajar. So when I walked up to the door and pulled it open, caught below the window with my left hand and a big piece of glass fell straight into my arm. Um, it severed my ulnar nerve, my ulnar artery, and about a dozen muscles and tendons completely through. Um, so I had to go to the hospital. I had about a four and a half hour surgery. And then afterwards I was prescribed heavy doses of painkillers for about a year. At the end of that year, the doctors just cut me off of those painkillers, cold turkey, um, no tapering, nothing like that. So being in college in a big city, uh, I was able to go out and find opiates on the streets. So uh, now that I was taking opiates on my own, not being regulated by a doctor, no regulated doses, uh, it started to spin out of control pretty quickly. Eventually using opiate painkillers turned into actually using heroin, which eventually escalated to IV use of heroin. Um, and I tried stopping many times on my own. It never stuck for more than a couple weeks or at most a couple months at a time. I was actively addicted for probably five and a half years. Um, at some point, you know that it's ruining your life. It's hurting all the relationships around you. Uh, it's affecting your work life, in my case, school life as well. Uh, I wasn't seeing my friends anymore. I was showing up late to work, skipping class because I needed to go out and get my drug. So um, it was definitely negatively affecting me. But at that point, you can't stop because you feel like you're dying if you try to. Um, it's terrible. You get very sick. So uh, at some point, I did it managed to stop for about six months. Um, it was basically just white knuckling it. It did not work out very well. I was still suffering, thinking about using all the time. And so I relapsed after several uh, life events just brought on stress uh, and anxiety. And when you relapse, you usually go a lot harder than when you last stopped. And so it really started to affect my work. Uh, I ended up losing a job over it. Uh, definitely was ruining all my relationships. And my family was starting to really figure out that there was something going on. Uh, so I ended up getting confronted and uh, basically told that you know I need to make a decision. And I knew that I wanted to stop. I just didn't know how to go about doing it. So the first time I really realized that I had a problem and it needed to be addressed. Uh, I was constantly late for work, constantly missing classes. Every paycheck was spent before I had it, owing money to a drug dealer. Um, my life was miserable trying to just obtain the drug. When I was able to look back at that stuff, it's insane, it's bizarre. Um, it makes no sense that something should have that much control over my life. And so that's when I initially decided that I needed to make a big change in my life. So we did some research and we found the Coleman Institute and uh, they were able to get me in very quickly. They were extremely patient with me. They really walked me through the process and in, in detail uh, so I could understand the whole thing, explained everything very well. The detox they gave was significantly better than anything I'd ever done before. Uh, they really make you as comfortable as possible to get you through that tough part of the process. And then their naltrexone therapy kind of takes away that mental aspect of wanting to go back and use because you know that it won't work if you do. So I just passed nine months off of opiates. Um, my life is significantly better. I get to see my friends and family and I can enjoy work without having to worry about Am I going to start getting sick halfway through my shift? Do I need to show up 30 minutes late because my dealer is running behind? I don't have to worry about those things now, and it's a huge relief.
I'm much happier. I have a great relationship with my family. And my friends have all started to trust me a little bit more and bring me back into their lives, which is really nice. Uh, one of my friends just had his first child, his daughter, and uh, he wasn't going to let me anywhere near her, knowing my situation. And so now they, they trust me to come over and play with her, and that's really satisfying and rewarding. Um, so it makes me not want to fall back into my old habits. I'm much happier now being able to do the things that I love and see the people I love. So, so I always blamed, blamed stress and anxiety for my addiction, and uh, it's all gone now after being clean and not needing to worry about if I'm going to get that next fix or how I'm going to get it or how I'm going to pay for it or where I have to go. None of that stuff matters anymore. So I can fully be present and enjoy my job. I have gotten back to doing activities I love doing. It's definitely been a very positive um, journey since I came to the Coleman Institute for the first time.